Hello, I am Anne Galanders. Near these beautiful gardens, a team of explorers search endlessly for what they believe to be the fountain of youth. Legends among the natives convinced Ponce de Leon that there was indeed a fountain with such magical properties as could renew the vigour and restore the health of all those that bathed in its magical waters. In his quest, he discovered this enchanted land, which he named La Florida, meaning the flowers. Excellent area to work if you've been travelling and sitting in congested planes or cars for long periods and you get swollen feet. This is where you work. You've got lymph nodes in your groin which uh, help the flow of lymph which gets congested. So two or three times around there. Okay. And nicely friction the spine to get a bit of warmth in your spine and your nervous system and you'll be ready to go. Ponce de Leon never found that fabled fountain, but we have found many ways since then to maintain our health and vitality and keep fit and well. Reflexology is a great way of getting us in tune with the infinite to develop the power of healing within our hands and go forth to help our friends and loved ones to a better and youthful lifestyle. In today's competitive business world, communications are everything. You need a cellular service that's powerful and easy to use. One that connects you to all the people you need to reach with the touch of a single button. A wireless carrier that integrates all the services you need into a single compact phone. An all digital national network that provides call privacy and security when you travel. And the best value in the business. You need the power of Nextel. Nextel gives you digital cellular service, text and numeric paging, voicemail, and a two-way radio, all in one attractive, easy-to-use phone that fits in your pocket. Look, we've been at it all day long, and we keep striking out. I'm ready to call it quits. What about you, Norman? I'm with you. Thanks. Oh, no, wait. I've been saving the best for last, and you're going to love it. We have to get back to the office. Well, just let me make one quick call to set it up. Might as well. I mean, the, the whole day's been shot anyway. Tom is counting on his Nextel phone to save the deal. Hey, everybody, it's Tom. By pushing one button, the Nextel Direct Connect two-way feature puts Tom on the line with his entire work group. Hey, Tom, it's Sarah. Hi, this is Jean. Yeah, Larry here. Listen, I am really going to need your help or I'm going to lose this sale. Please tell me that the Dominion building is ready to show. Some 700 years ago, man first heard a loud, thunderous, cracking explosion from what was then a rare instrument. What was this device and where did it come from? How did it work? Why did it become so popular, so essential, so quickly? Take a journey through time, revealing the mysteries behind one of man's most powerful creations, the gun. From medieval legends surrounding the invention of gunpowder to the laser-sighted rifles designed for the 21st century. From the romance and excitement surrounding the six shooters and rifles of the American West to the submachine gun firepower of the Roaring Twenties. From the exquisitely crafted wheel locks of 16th century Europe to today's rapid-firing assault rifles. Discover the genius behind some of the most famous names in the history of firearms. Colt, Smith & Wesson, Winchester, Browning, and Ruger. Men who led the quest for mechanically precise tools 
that could extend the bounds of human control. The story of the gun dramatically explores a creation that has drastically altered the history of mankind. Hello, I'm Nancy Leary. I'm a therapist here at the Rehab Center. I'm going to give you some information to help you understand your knee pain, and I'm going to show you some practical steps to take on your road to recovery. But first, let's take a look at how your knee is constructed and how it works. Let's start at the beginning. Your knee is made up of three bones, the thigh bone or femur, the lower leg or tibia, and the kneecap or patella. Your kneecap is the disc-shaped bone in the front of your knee. It's surrounded by muscles, strong tendons, and other connective tissue. Your kneecap, or patella, forms a joint with the thigh bone, or femur, called the patellofemoral joint. Synchronized watches, P minus, 30 and counting. Pizza, 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 pizza. Come on, pizza, guys. Let's finish pizza, our math homework. Pizza. That pizza won't be here for another 30 minutes. What does math have to do with the mall? Lots. Here, look at this video my brother showed me. It's the mid 90s, and people are on the move. Except when they're not moving. And that means traffic. You may not realize it, but whenever you need to go from here, to here, to here, or here, operations, research, and management science have played a role. A good percentage of the mentally ill can live in society and contribute to it. We can control the symptoms of the disease, much as we control diabetes or heart disease. Jack, come here. So that our patients can have a decent life. Our program is committed to creating that life for our patients and their families. Finding the right medication is important, but our focus is on the whole patient, all aspects of their life, our social, Recreational and vocational programs are all geared toward getting our patients' lives back on track. I thought about you a lot. I know what you went through wasn't easy. You know, it was hard. I mean, I, I still have to work on it every day. But I have good days and bad days. Most kids, recess is the most eagerly anticipated part of the school day. It's a time for fun and games with their friends. But there's a lot more going on here than just that. The games they play are a testing place, not just for their physical skills, but their social skills as well. For a few kids, though, recess is something they dread. It's filled with anxiety. Fear of rejection, humiliation, or failure pushes some kids, as many as 15% of them, out of the mainstream of playground activities and onto the sideline. No other program has proven to be as effective in turning these kids around and getting them on the right track again. By the time they've reached the age at which most current programs are available, many of them, most of them, are beyond the point where the programs can do them any good. They've already been devastated by repeated blows of low self-esteem, undisciplined behavior, and a poor learning foundation. Kids lucky enough to have the help of a 4A specialist will never have to face these problems.
I guess most of us have spent some time in front of the monkey exhibit at the zoo. And we may have even wished that we could take one of these cute fellows home with us. Unfortunately, too many people with good intentions have gone beyond the wishing stage. They've acquired a monkey as a pet, sometimes illegally. This decision to bring a wild... Local zoo, as much a part of a family outing as picnic lunches and softball games. But the modern zoo is much more than a place where the public amuses itself watching rare and exotic animals. If zoos are going to have uh, populations of animals in the future, they must learn to breed and manage them as so there are no new animals coming. That requires that one learns all about their genetics, about their diseases, about the, the management, their feeding, and a variety of behavioral requirements that they have so that, in fact, breeding is guaranteed in the future. Basically, it requires the acquisition.